Big Gamer Al here. How are you guys doing today? I'm super. Thanks for asking. Hey guys, so today I wanted to bring you a quick review and buyer's guide for Paranormal Activity The Lost Soul. This game is currently available for PlayStation VR and PC and it's the PSVR title that I'll be reviewing today. So this game is available for $40 in the US or about £33-£34 in the UK. But currently there is a sale on, on Steam you can save 25% and also if you're a PlayStation Plus member you can also save 25%. So in the UK that's about £8 off and the US that means you can get it at quite a smart £29.99 price tag. So this game is a first person horror VR title and gameplay is mostly centred around exploration with a little bit of light puzzle solving thrown in and occasionally the need to escape a threat. Controls can be overly cumbersome though and take a while to get used to as movement is matched to the face buttons of both PlayStation Move controllers which took me a little while to get my head wrapped around to be honest. Once you are moving however the scrolling is quite smooth and any motion sickness tends to work within one or two minutes which is quite nice for the title like this. Luckily the game is genuinely quite scary too, it really does live up to the paranormal activity name but this can sometimes be hampered by quite slow pacing in game where you're having to find objects or open doors, find where you need to go next, can slow the gameplay down a little bit and they try to mix in a few jump scares here and there to keep you on your toes but those big set pieces don't always come off just how you would like them just because time spent in between these can be a little bit longer. Graphically the game is a little bit of a mixed bag with certain areas feeling quite lifelike and photorealistic, areas like the living room and the hallway but these are horribly contrast against some textures in the game which are quite poor and of low resolution and certain items in the game looking very ugly, not being made up of too many polygons. I mostly managed to enjoy my time with paranormal activity and it did manage to get a couple of scares out of me along the way too. But in total the package is a little bit of a mixed bag. The control scheme could be more intuitive. I think some of the graphics could be a little bit tighter and the pacing overall could be better. But then again, sometimes this game really was quite effective and I think if you're a fan of the genre, I can certainly recommend it to you, especially at this 25% off that it's currently experiencing on Steam and on PlayStation Plus. If you're not a fan of the genre, if you're not you know, really looking for another jump scare title, I would say probably wait. I still think $30 or about £30 is still quite a bit to pay. So I'm actually going to give this game a 6 out of 10 guys. If you like this review, if you found it informative or helpful in any way, feel free to like, comment and subscribe and I'll bring you some more content. Cheers.